So this is how I um, load images into AstroArt uh, and then stack them and I'll just do a really basic showing you the right way of actually loading them into AstroArt, uh, stacking your images uh, and saving. So what you do is you open AstroArt, you click on Tools, click on Pre-processing, uh, locate your file through your file location in your for me it's in the C drive uh, my pictures and on the 27th of the 9th is just an example um, we did uh, the horse head um, so what you do is you you click on the top one and then you you press your shift key on your keyboard and then all I do is I scroll down till I get to the bottom uh, there's your horse head right there the last one and then I click left click on the mouse highlights all of them and then I left click and drag all the images into my images so let's put them in the right part uh, then click on options uh, and what I need to change now is my alignment instead of it being none it has to be uh, either manual or auto alignment we'll do auto alignment method will be star pattern translation and rotation and then you OK that. You also notice uh, at, at the moment this time I've got it on median and normalized background. My dark frames are all just average even though I haven't taken any darks for this particular one because the camera's so good it doesn't really need it. Then all I do is I click OK and as you can see here it's showing 27 frames of a horse head at 6 minutes in H alpha. Uh, so I'll reduce that a little bit to show it a bit better. Uh, so as you can see there's the, there's the horse head right there um, another thing you can do just to sort of smart up a little bit click on histogram uh, and if you adjust this obviously you can sort of adjust that to sort of make that look a bit better uh, where it's a bit overexposed and there's there's that and then all you do is if you click on file you can save it as 32 or 16 bit uh, that's if you want to keep it as a fixed folder as you can see down here you just name it or a horse head or something like that uh, file location where you want it to go and then click on save and if you want to upload it on the internet you can click on optimize JPEG uh, I tend to reduce the compression right down to nothing because obviously if you sort of scroll right up you can see that it, it starts to make this look a lot worse uh, so obviously you don't want that uh, so compression is right down and again you click on OK same thing file locate it uh, where you want it to go name it and then save um, and that's basically how